What we have now with the Redskins is in Josh Johnson, a guy who's been given an opportunity. I'm wondering, for a guy who was in the league for 12 years, um, you know sometimes it just is an opportunity. You have to get that chance to play. you got to be rooting for somebody like Josh Johnson, right? Of course I'm rooting for a guy like – I root for all the backups. And, you know, <laughs> and, and last as long as you can. And listen, and you're not going to always have good games. You're a backup for a reason. Hopefully you have one good game, and maybe the next one's a bad game. Okay, well, you're 50-50, not bad for a backup. So <laughs> right. you know, I always say that you know, a, backup, a good backup quarterback wins you about half their football games, right? I mean, you're really not expecting to find a Kurt Warner uh, to back up Trent Green or you know, Tom Brady to back up Drew Blood. So you're looking for a guy to keep you in the playoff race, you know, maybe sort of win a playoff game if it comes to it. But you know, your starter is your starter for a reason. He's the one making, you know, between, what, 16 and $33 million for a starter. And a backup, we're talking about, you know, a million to, you know, three. So, uh, yeah, win half your football games and, and go out there, complete passes, and don't try to win the whole thing yourself while your teammates around you uh, to make yards after a catch and, and go win you that football game. Now, you played a long time, and you are on several teams, but were you ever like a midseason pickup? Did you have to go through that and talk about, I'm sure you've seen it with your teammates, and especially at quarterback, talk about how difficult that is to come in and, you know, be starting two weeks later. It, it's terrible. To be honest with you, that, yeah. that I, you know, I bounced around a lot, but almost all of my uh, moves from one team or another were in the off season. You were right. talking about, you know, March, where you, you fly into a place, you do your visit, you sign your contract, uh, night, you, know, a couple, you, go, you go home for a couple of weeks, you, you, move, you come back, you, you're working out all the off season, you're looking to buy a house, you buy a house, you know, the move stuff happens or whatever, and then, you know, the season starts. Well, when you move mid-season, you're staying in a hotel room, just uh, on this playbook, you know, trying to, you know, basically, you know, pass a chemistry test, and you showed up, and it's finals week, and, and that's what you're doing, and it's hard. It, it helps when you you know the language from a previous stop, or or the language has some crossover from a previous coach, or you know, maybe this coach played with another coach you played for, and things are very similar. But it doesn't really matter. When teams go year to year, it, it, there are definitely a certain amount of things that do change, audibles, hand signals, all these little details do change from year to year, team to team, and, and you're constantly playing catch-up, and, and you're just trying to feel good about you know, 10, 15, 20 concepts. Can you be effective? The Redskins have been riddled with injuries. Don't want to belabor it, but it is what it is. And it's even getting worse, like some of the receivers that we've been counting on who aren't that explosive to begin with. Um, they may be out too. Can you be effective enough to say score, have two touchdowns drives, let's say, and a couple field goals if you don't have explosive plays as part of your offense? Yeah, you could be effective. You know, you're going to, you want high completion percentage type throws. You know, you got to, you, you got to complete all those five, six yard throws and, and stay, uh, you know, in front of the chains, as they say. You can't get in third and 15, third and 12. Right. Uh, you know, that's when trouble happens. And, you know, that, I had a coach in college tell me one time, and, and it carried with me throughout my career, if we end it every possession with some sort of kick, whether that's a punt, a field goal, or an extra point, we will win a lot of football games. And if you take that approach, now it's not the, the, you know, the sexiest approach and the most fun mm-hmm. to you know, throw the ball around everywhere and be super aggressive. But, you know, as we watch all these games, in particular at the end of the season, we're seeing a lot of 17 to 13 and 24 to 17. You don't have to score, you know, touchdowns in every possession. And sometimes your defensive special teams will get you a great field position or a touchdown themselves. And so, you know, you add it all up and you just, you know, sort of be a part of the machine and try not to, you know, carry too much on your back. Uh, at the end of the day, you, you, you are, you might be the weakest link, but the key is just to be, you know, so, you know, complete passes to your teammates, high percentage, get the ball out of your hands and, and stay away from trouble. 